Hello and welcome to another pass question. In this discussion, we are going to look at the probability pass question, a theory question. This actually came on September 2019. And um, a closer look at it, you get to realize that it's a very simple question. And, in, and of course, you should be able to answer it in no time. Let's go. So this is the question that came, the September 2019 pass question. Alright, let's move straight forward to the question. But before then, make sure you click on the subscribe button, you like, and share this video. Now, a teacher randomly surveyed some high school students to see what they think about the double track system. The results of the survey are shown in the table below. Okay, so we have a GHS3 student, 90 were in favor of it, 4 opposed it, and 7 did not make any decision. For SHS1, we had 15 students were in favor, 6 opposed it, and 9 were undecided. SHS2, 13 favored it, 6 were opposed, and of course 11 had no, had, had no decision to make. SHS3, 11 favored it, 10 opposed it, and 9 were also not actually having any decision to make. Now. The total for all those in favor was 58, those that opposed it were 26, and those that were undecided were 36. I. What fraction of the students who participated in the survey is in GHS3? An II. A newspaper reporter randomly selected a student from the survey to interview. What is the probability that the student selected is in favor of the double track system? Now, let's look at the first question. Before we go, let's reproduce a table. This time, I've highlighted the GHS3 numbers and, of course, the total numbers because the first question has a lot to do with those parts. Now, the question was, what fraction of the students who participated in the survey is in GHS3? Now, the overall total in the survey would be 58 plus 26 plus 36, and that will give you 120. I'm adding these numbers down the table, the total, the overall total. And again, the total number of students in GHS3 would be 19 plus 4 plus 7, as you can see down here. And the number gives you 30. So, the fraction is simply going to be 30 over 120. And that's going to simplify to 3 over 12, which, will, which can further be simplified to 1 over 4. So, what does that tell you? means a fraction of the students who participated in the survey, that is for those in GHS3, were 1 over, the fraction is 1 over 4, as you can see down there. Let's come to the second part. Let's consider the table again, and this time we're looking at the total figures. Alright, I've highlighted the down part, the total number of people who, the total number of students involved. Now, they said, a newspaper reporter randomly selected a student from the survey to interview. What's the probability that the student selected is in favor of the double track system? Now, the overall total in the survey, again, once again, is 120, as we previously calculated. Now, the students in favor of the double track system is actually, what, 58, as you can see down here. Now, probability is simply equal to number of events over the sample space. Now here, the event we are talking about is the number of students who are in favor of the double track system. The sample space refers to the total number of students involved in the survey. And that simplifies to 58 over 120, and that equals 29 over 60. So the probability of randomly selecting a student who is in favor of the double track system is actually 29 over 60. Thank you for your time, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, and share this video. There are more coming by the grace of God. Now, our next discussion, we're going to look at this set of questions on the table. All right. So, follow our channel, subscribe, and hold on peacefully. A video is about to be uploaded shortly by the grace of God. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.